course we'll kneel. Was there ever even a question? These are yours. Uh, why do I get the feeling this is goodbye? The palace is mine now. So is the farmhouse. For you, that We'll take the machine shop. You need a mechanic to run the reactor. She's your girl. Besides, you wouldn't want your favorite chess partner to live in a tent, would you? Fine. Go. Who's next? Go for Con Gabriel and Elijah's horn on Hada. Kneel so that you can fight another day. Good, I still get to kill you. Convicts, children of Gabriel. Welcome to the new sanctum. Things have changed quickly, but the future is full of promise. And to reap the benefits of this bright new day, I ask only that you take a knee to show your loyalty. A simple gesture that binds you to a contract with a single rule. If at any time you do anything that I deem disloyal, you die. And if we refuse? You die. In that case, the killers and the thieves of Allegis Exploration Ship Number Four are at your service. Nelson. My name is Sachin. My people and I swore an oath. Better to die free than worship at the feet of false gods. I will not kneel tonight or ever. Does this man speak for all of you? Surely some here would prefer to live. One small genuflection and life goes on. One sanctum under me for the benefit of all. You stand by your principles and your people stand by you. Those are the qualities of a true leader. for him or die. Death is life. Yeah! This is Book of 2nd Maccabees, chapter 6, and verse 19. But he choosing rather to die gloriously than to live stained with such an abomination spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment i want to give all honor glory and infinite praises to the heavenly father yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rechak wadash double honor to the elders and apostles the great most own peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad pushing his truth in sincerity yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rechak wadash brakadam to use a quantum, you know, your elders, your brothers, your sisters, the hopeful elect, out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. And of course, keeping faith in Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, our Lord and our Savior and our King, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, in these last days, in these perilous times that we are living in, this is Brother Pshai, Ba'an Yasha'Allah. And this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Papi Abashim al Shai on we, the hopeful elect, would rather die an honorable death than to live a life of disgrace. Stand till your last breath. Stand for Yahweh Bashim Al Shai till your last breath. Okay, even if you gotta die for this thing, man. All right, now what inspired this lesson was Brother Um Alayah. He did a, be a beautiful lesson through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, and we ought to obey the Most High rather than men. He read the scripture in the GNT, and that's what sparked this lesson through the spirit. You know, uh, I got time last night to check the brother video out. Um, and that's what inspired this lesson, man. It made me think about a whole bunch of precepts, which I'm going to get. 
Let me get straight to the lesson. So let's go back to 2 Maccabees 6 chapter. And we'll start at verse 18 now. Let's go into Eleazar, all right, one of the principal scribes. All right. <clears throat> and of course, it's during the time of the Greek Empire. You see that? I'm trying to see exactly. Uh, I believe it was, um, let me see, Salak in one second. I can, yeah, I believe it was King Antiochus. All right. The wicked ass king. Cause, let me see. Yup, yup, yup. It was King Antiochus Epiphanes, wicked ass. All right. During the Seleucid Empire. So he tried to get Eleazar to eat pork. All right. And basically, he wanted Eleazar to do it to have everyone else do it. He just basically wanted everyone to break the laws of the Mosai, do something contrary to the laws. He wanted people to sell their soul, basically. All right. Because someone can hear this and be like, what the hell? It's just pork. Just, you know, eat it and live. Nah. It's deeper than that. It's about submitting. Okay. Because we have ways, we have customs, a heritage, culture. And Esau Edom, the devil, okay, the goddamn devil the Bible speaks of. He literally wants you to do something contrary to yourself, contrary to your morals, your integrity, your culture, your God, his laws, statute commandments. He wants you to break them. All right. That's you selling your goddamn soul. That's what all the other music industry to have jakes wearing dresses. OK, doing weird abominations, defiling themselves. And that's how they get their blessings on the left hand side. They fame, they fortune, they wealth. OK, so <clears throat> same thing was going on back in the Seleucid Empire, man. Which I may get the seventh chapter as well right after this, going to the seven brethren. Because he, what he told the last brother was he was a goddamn devil. After he slaughtered six of his brothers, you know, he literally witnessed six of his brothers get slaughtered horrifically for not eating swan's flesh. He said, listen, just eat it and you be my friend. I'll, I'll make you rich. You know, I'll, he basically, told, he, that's saying, man. All right. So in these last days, you know, Esau Edom would come with the karagma of the beast, all these different things. And he may try to throw these things in there. You know, hey, listen, I'm, you be up here and close, you know, with us. You know, we get you rich and fame or anything you want. You know, just, just you know, take the karagma, man. You know, just just bow down, bow the knee, kneel. Like you've seen the video clip I played in the intro, though, willing to still up, of course. That from the TV show, The 100. Okay, you know, you watch the TV show, The 100, towards the end of the um, last season around there. Um, you got a dude named Shed Heda who literally uh, wanted everyone to just kneel to him. He said, bow to me, basically bow to me. And you will live. If you don't, you'll die. And if you do anything I deem disloyal, I'm gonna put you to death. You're gonna die. All right. You literally you seen um the woman leading a certain crew. She bowed, and all of them follow her, and they bowed. <laughs> so they all they all weak. The all, all those men were weak. Okay. Then you had the children of Gabriel, which I you know in my eyes very spiritual. You know, um Gabaria Allah. You know, um warrior power. You know, he warrior he. Gabar means warrior, Allah, okay, Gabar, ya Allah, right, warrior, he power, he is a power of war, okay, so the children of, you know, Gabriel, right, because Gabriel is a Hebrew name, so it reminded me of the children of Israel, which is mine, and they, look how they stood, the, the, he had a man, they had a man leading them, okay, and he, he called them a certain name, he said, that's not my name, and he said, it's, it's, you know, it's a different language in the show, but, you know, he said, my name is this, and it's, you know, remind me like Hebrew, like, yo, my name is this, man, you know, and I, he said, I will not kneel, you know, then he said, yeah, he's speaking for all of y'all, and then all of them stood there, like, yeah, man, like, we ain't kneeling to you, man, then, then he said, all right, and he said, you got the, the characteristics of a leader, which Esau don't like that, you know, and he reminded me, that man reminded me of Esau, okay, that, that's the devil for you, all right, so he put all of them to death in front of him, then then he, um, then he put him to death, death last, and he, he sat out his mouth before he died, he, st he stood tall to his last breath, man. All of them did. All right? He literally said, death is life, man. Okay? Death is life. And that's for us, too. And it's truth, man. Dying for y'all, Bashim al Shah, that's life right there. Why is that life? Because that leads to everlasting life. That's the ticket to the chariot, man. Let's read these precepts. Second Matthew be 6 and verse um, 18. Eleazar, one of the principal scribes and aged men and of a well-favored countenance, was constrained to open his mouth to, and to eat swine's flesh because that was against the law. All right, it is still to this day against the law. Now people do it willingly. Back then, they was willing to die for this, man. It says, but he choosing rather to die gloriously than to live stained with such an abomination, spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment. And it behooved them to come that are, um, that are result to stand out against such things as are not lawful for the love of, for love of life to be tasted. All right, so they stood out against things that's not lawful, okay? It says, um, for the love of life to be tasted. It says, but they that had the charge of the wicked feast for the old acquaintance they had with the man, taking them aside. So they, you know, they knew Eliezer, they pulled, pulled them aside. 
besought him to bring flesh of his own provision. You listen, take anything you want. It could be turkey, it could be chicken, it could be, you know, anything that's like, you know, lamb, you know, take anything, right? Such as was lawful for him to use and make as if he did eat of the flesh taken from the sacrifice commanded by the king. So they basically told him to sell out even worse. So that, that was deception right there. All right. So don't actually eat the pork, but act like you're about to eat it. Okay, act like he bought the, you know, and eat something else instead. And that would have other, okay, Eleazar, age, man, he did it. We might as well do it as well. All right. So Esau going to do the same shit, man, because it's the same devil coming back. All right. The Greco Roman, the Greek Empire led to the Greco Roman Empire, which, you no know, came back revised today as native EU to be set up today. This empire we in today, America, Babylon, the Great. Okay. And um, they're going to do the same shit. They're going to literally try to tell the brother, listen, don't you, you, matter of fact, you don't even got to take the, the, the karagma, man. Okay, you don't got to take the karagma. All right, just act like you took it. Okay, we're going to you know, make it look good. You know, we got the CGI. We got the technology to make it look like you took it. You know, they're going to go for the leaders. They may go for the leaders of Yasha Allah and stuff like that. Try to make them do that. You know, just brothers in general, man. They'll take it to, you know, get others to take it. You know, if they, they see you bowing, you know, maybe they'll bow too. All right. But that's why the scripture say, what, work of your own salvation. All right. That's what we, you know, no man can truly say. Well, yeah, we learn from men. We, we got taught by the elders and apostles on down through the spirit of Papi Al-Bashim al Lord, and all of us endured through the spirit. But that's what the elders and apostles tell us, man. You know, work of your own salvation. That's in the scriptures, Philippians 2 and 12. All right. That's what you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind. Because if you witness another brother do, go off and do something like that, like brothers that follow the truth, you got some jakes that will fall out. You know what I'm saying? Then the whole camp will fall out with them. No, you're supposed to keep pushing, man. Okay? So, um, that's, that was a point. Let's read on. It says, um, verse 22, it says, um, that in doing, that in so doing, he might be delivered from death. So listen, if you, if you act like you did it, you'll be delivered from death. And for the old friendship was done with them, find favor. But he began to consider discreetly. So he started thinking, all right? He started thinking, he started meditating upon it. And as became of, and as became his age, and excessively of his ancient years, in the honor of his gray head, were on, was come, in this most honest education from a child, or rather, the holy law made and given by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Therefore, he answered accordingly and willed them straight ways to send him to the grave. He said, "Put me to death, man. I ain't doing that shit." All right, and that's what you expect from um, the men of the Lord. Okay, the men of the Lord, of course, man. See, the Heavenly Father says what? If it were possible, they should have the very elect. But it's not possible because the Heavenly Father put a certain spirit upon the elect men to stand firm in what they believe, man. All right? And the elect men in these last days, out around Tazah, it'd be us starting with the elders and apostles on down. We gonna stand firm. We would rather die, man. All right? To live a life of disgrace. Live a, I should change it to live a temporary life, a very short life of disgrace. Because guess what? After you take, say if you take the Karagma to... to to um, further your life, you're furthering your life for a few more fucking months, days, probably hours, man. Okay, because your house shots around the corner. He gonna put your ass to death if you take the karagma of the beast. All right, so you better go out like a man. It says, um, as we don't, he said, send me to the grave, and he said, put me to death, man. As we don't, for becometh not of our, uh, for it becometh not our age. He said he, and any wise to dissemble. Whereby many young persons might think that Eleazar being four score years old and 10. All right. So that's uh, 20, 40, 60, 80. He was 90 years old, man. We're now gone to a strange religion, a strange belief, a strange worship. So they threw my hypocrisy and desire to live a little time and a moment longer. You see that? He said, they see me do this, even act like I did it or truly do it. You know, eat the pork or I like eat the pork. You know what I'm saying? He said, they're going to... um. Um, see that and decide to live a little time and a moment longer. So they're going to do the same thing just to not die at that exact moment. You see that? But, he's, but let's read on. Should be deceived by me. You see that? So he understood his position. He understood his, his age and, you know, people look up to him, so on and so forth. One of the principal scribes, he like, listen, if I do this, man, I'm going to cause other, I'm going to deceive others to do it, man. And they're going to live just a moment longer. That's wickedness. And he knew that he'd be, that would be blood upon his hands. That's why through the spirit of Papi Abashim al I started with the elders and apostles on down to all the brothers that fought under the umbrella of Great Millstone. We warned so heavy about the karagma of the beast, man. We warned so heavy about it. Cause that's a prophecy. If you take it, the most high gonna ice you, man. Period. You cannot repent for taking that, man. Okay? 
You do anything in these last days, set, submitting and kneeling and, and selling your soul to Esau Edom for, to live a, a temporary moment longer, the Lord going to put you to death, man. We don't want that blood on our hands. So we're warning you, do not get down with this system. Do not get down with this beast. Don't, don't rely upon the man that smote you, man. Okay? Let's read on. It says, um, I'll read that verse 25 again. And so they and so they through mine hypocrisy and desire to live a little time and a moment longer should be deceived by me. And I get a stay into my own age and make it abominable. For though for the present time I should be delivered from the punishment of men, he said, Listen for this moment. If I do that, I'll be delivered from the punishment of men. Yet should I not escape the hand of the Almighty. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, neither alive nor dead. You cannot escape the heavenly father in life or death, man. He's everywhere. Wherefore now manfully changing his life, I will shoot myself such and one as mine angel required. He said, listen, man, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. I ain't doing it. Put me to death, man. I'm gonna shoot myself such as one as my age requireth, man. And leave a notable example to such as be young to die willingly and courageously for the honorable and holy laws. And when he has said these words, immediately he went to the torment. You see that? So after that, he went to the torment. Let's read on. They that let him change in the good will, they bear him a little before into the hatred because of the foresaid speeches proceeded as they thought from a desperate mind. But when he was ready to die with stripes, he groaned and said, it is manifest to the Lord that have the holy knowledge, whereas I might have been delivered from death. I now endure sore pains in body and by being beaten. But in soul and well content to suffer these things because I fear him. Okay, so ultimately, you got to fear Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and scripture say what? Fear not him that, that let's get it. I'm gonna finish out them and get that around. It says, and thus this man died, leaving his death for an example of a notable courage and a memorable of virtue, not only unto young men, but unto all his nation. So everyone heard about that back then, and we're, and we're reading it today, so we know about it, man. So Eliezer, what you did back in those days, we hear about it today, reading it right now, man. All right, that was courageous, man. A little willing, we, we got that same spirit, willing to die for Yahweh Bashim al Shah, this Lord's sake, the faith, okay? Let's get this into the precept. <clears throat> so this is the book of um, Matthew 10 and 28. It says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But fear, but rather fear him, Yahweh, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell, Gehenna, the second death, man. All right? And also, hell is like a condition. So he, the Lord could literally bring you back <laughs> to, to taste some missiles, of course, but also he could bring you back through the reincarnation and you just a fucking midget. Or you got, you know, no legs or some shit. Or you blind and death and you can't taste. That just fucking hell, man. All right? So fear Yahweh, man. All right? Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, of course. They give relation to 12 and 11. And they overcame him. So that's how we're going to overcome this devil, man. By what? By the blood of the land being covered in the blood of Yahweh Shah and Mashiach, our Lord and our Savior. And by the word of their testimony, his words. He comes in a volume in the book. The words made flesh. Yahweh Shah. Believe it on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Rehearsing righteous sacks. It says, and they love not their lives unto the death. Man, we don't love our lives here, man. One of the brothers said something very spiritual too. He said, um, for his law's sake, I despise my members, man. All right? Meaning what? For Yahweh Bashim al I despise my body to hell with my life. That's what the scripture say. What make your body a living sacrifice? Okay. Now I, I, I could get that, but um, the same might be saying seven chapters, you know. But I, I want to get Acts the seventh chapter, you know, with Stephen because they stoned Stephen. Okay. Stephen went into the whole history right here, but I'm not gonna read all of it. I'm gonna get straight to the point. I don't want to Zah. <clears throat> Let's get verse 50. Let's start with 51. So Acts, uh, Acts 7 chapter, verse 51. This is when Stephen, you know, basically cursing the wicked scribes and Pharisees out, man. He gave him a whole rundown on the history of how our people always rebellious, hated the prophets, never listened, kept rebelling against the Most High Yahweh, Bashim Al Shai, you know, uh, um, resisting the Holy Spirit. You see that? <clears throat> so I'm going to start with verse um, 51. Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did, so do ye. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? They were stoning the prophets. Apostle Paul got stoned. Beat him with 40 stripes. Okay, shipwrecked. 
All right. When he got stoned, he nearly died. He went to the spiritual realm, but the Lord said, now nah, your, your mission is not finished. When he, he, he saw up there, he couldn't even put into words. He went back in his body. All right. He kept pushing, man. They threw um, St. John the Revelator in a, in a he, they boiled him, man, but they didn't kill him. They threw him on the island of Patmos. Peter, they crucified him up, upside down, man. Okay. They threw Jeremiah in a dungeon with the mire, with a whole bunch of feces and dirt and mud, man. Okay. Because you let him know the Babylonians don't come and whoop your ass. They want they want to listen to the prophets, man. Okay. Um, we go on and on. You see, <clears throat> it says, um, and they have slain them with shoe before the coming of the just one, of whom who's the just one, Yahweh Shai, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. It's like it. <clears throat> when they heard these things, they were cut to the heart. So after they heard everything, he done broke down to them. It was cut to the heart. That's what they tried to do. That's what they did to him. And gnashed on him with their teeth. They started grinding their teeth. They got angry. They had, but he, being full of the Holy Spirit, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of the Heavenly Father. So he was so much in the Spirit. He looked up to the heavens and the Lord showed him the vision. He, sh he showed him um, um, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai. says, And Yahweh Shai stand on the right hand of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man stand on the right hand of the Heavenly Father. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon them with one accord. They basically cried out and they, they, put, they put their hands on their ears. I don't want to hear no more. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing his words, man. Right? Like they, they were going to do the Amos. You know, they basically, the northern kingdom said, go back to Judah with that, man. We don't want to hear what you got to say, man. Okay? So they, they go, what about us today? Okay, what about us today? Start with the elders and pastors on down, pushing his word out in truth and sincerity, man. They're going to they gonna come for us, man. And we got to be willing to die for y'all, Bashim Al Shah. All right? And stand to our last breath. Die courageously as we don't. It says, and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet, whose name was Saul. So Saul later became the apostle Paul. He was there. Okay. But you know, the Lord had, of course had mercy upon Saul because he was a chosen vessel, as we don't. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God, calling upon the Heavenly Father, and saying, Lord, Yahweh shall receive my spirit. It says, and he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not the, this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep, meaning he died. Okay? Did he take a nap? No, he literally, you know, he, he died, man. So they stoned Stephen to death. And he was called upon Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, saying, Lord, Yahweh Shah, receive my spirit, man. All right? So the Lord could have had it where he didn't even feel none of these things. But he, he still went through it. He, he To his last breath, man. Okay? Matter of fact, I do want to get to Second Maccabees. One of, one of the brothers said... <clears throat> Let me see, where is it at? <clears throat> Bebo Miyakim. Right here. Second Maccabee 7 and 9. But he answered his own language. Matthew started verse um, 7. So when the first was dead after this number, they brought the second to make him a moccasin. So they already put one of their brothers to death. Now they're about to put this one. All right. Answers Epiphany during the Solution Empire. It says they brought the second to make him a moccasin. And when they had pulled off the skin of his head with the hair, they asked him, will thou eat? The, the swine's flesh, pork, before thou be punished or every member of thy body. <clears throat> but he answered his own language and said, no. He said, la'ah. Wherefore, he also received the next torment in order as the former did. And when he was at his last gasp, his last breath, right? <clears throat> he said, thou like a fury, take of us out of this present life. But the king of the world shall raise us up who have died for his laws unto everlasting Life, man. So who they believe in? Yahweh was shot. So his last breath, he stood tall to his last gasp, his last breath. And he said, listen, you all angry and shit, <clears throat> killing us, putting us to death, not eating swans flesh, taking out this present life. But Yahweh was shot, Lord and our Savior, the king of the world, he going to raise us up. He going to raise us up. You know, because we, we willing to die for him, man. Okay? And he going to bring us what? Everlasting life. So what? Death is life, brothers. <laughs> Down for Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is everlasting life. So I'm in the den. I pray he was edified. I want to give Kohen Lime La Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Achak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth in sincerity. Without him, I say Shalom. While Baba Ball, Shalom. We, the hopeful elect, would rather die an honorable death than to live a life of disgrace. Stand to your last breath. Shalom.